Start off this Monday with the breaking news of the arrival of the first COVID vaccines here in North Texas delivered on a UPS truck this morning. Recipients are already inside the hospital at this hour about to get that shot. It is a momentous day to be sure. Uh, welcome to midday today. I'm Jason Wheeler. This is one of the most important days of 2020 delivery day as we finally get tangible hope now that this pandemic can eventually be brought to an end. Millions of doses of vaccine are on the move. Pfizer shipping nearly 3 million vials of it to all 50 states and to U.S. territories throughout the week. The culmination of an astounding record breaking effort by pharmaceutical companies to develop new vaccines in less than a year. Hospitals all across the country are starting to get those shipments. In New York, nine centers are now set up to begin vaccinating frontline workers as early as this afternoon. While in Chicago, Rush University Hospital transformed its lobby into mass vaccination bays today. Only four hospitals in Texas are getting those vital shipments today. One of them is Methodist Dallas Medical Center. Our Chris Sadegi is there today to keep up with the breaking developments. Hey, Chris. Hey Jason, the vaccines are here at Methodist Dallas. They arrive this morning on a big UPS truck and the first recipients of that vaccine could be getting their shots right now as we speak. Here's video of the big moment, the delivery they've been waiting for, just a couple of boxes on board a giant UPS truck, a big occasion for Methodist Dallas. They told us the first recipients were scheduled to arrive around 10 o'clock to start doing the proper paperwork and then receive the vaccine. We're told that the frontline workers here signed up in time slots to get one of the 5,850 doses sent in this first round of shipments. They hope to administer all those doses to staff by the end of next week. Those recipients will get their second dosage three weeks later. The shipments will keep coming until the entire organization is vaccinated. This is the first hospital in North Texas to get their vaccines, one of only four in the state scheduled to receive theirs today, but many more are to follow. 19 Texas hospitals, including Parkland and UT, UT Southwestern in Dallas, will get their shipments tomorrow. So will Texas Health in Fort Worth. By the end of the week, more than 100 hospitals in Texas should have their vaccines. This is the day a lot of people have been waiting for, but especially these healthcare workers and the excitement was obvious this morning when that delivery truck arrived. I've been in healthcare a long time. I've seen a lot of important events. I can't imagine a more important event than today, and I can't imagine a more special early Christmas present on behalf of the communities that we serve and the staff that we serve throughout North Texas. And Methodist tells us they're doing these vac vaccinations in a big auditorium to allow for social distancing. They had nurses who volunteered to go through the training to be able to administer that shot. And they're holding on to recipients for about 10 to 15 minutes after they're vaccinated just to make sure they don't have any immediate reactions or side effects. Jason, back to you. All right, Chris, uh, thank you for that. The vaccines have arrived uh, at Methodist Dallas. As we said, we'll keep on uh, watching throughout the week as to see uh, as to how many people are able to be vaccinated there. Meantime, we have new numbers of COVID cases coming in here in North Texas. Uh, they are grim numbers to be sure. You see Dallas County reporting 1810 new cases today. Uh, Tarrant County reporting 1423 new cases, while in Collin County they have reported uh, 426 new cases of coronavirus as uh, the U.S. nears a, a death toll now of 300,000 people who have uh, perished because of COVID-19. While the vaccine does give hope, the U.S. Surgeon General warns we must still be careful at least through mid-2021. These vaccines were tested uh, with an outcome of severe disease, not a prevention of infection. So we don't know yet whether they will prevent infection, but they could prevent you from being in the hospital and ultimately uh, passing from this virus.